absolutely just melted to the ground. This is something, again, they don't want to happen at your house. And a lot of times, you know, it is those flammable materials like those fireworks and sparklers that can make these things happen. Now, Molly Yeager with Rumpke told me that if you take just this extra step to submerge your spent fireworks into water for a few minutes, that's all you really need to do to prevent these situations. Once it, sits in, once it sits in water for a bit, it's good. And you know, the same goes for the charcoal embers. If you're breaking out the charcoal grill, anything that was once lit, that is a good practice. I asked Jaeger, what happens if a fire sparks on board one of their trucks? Here's what she had to say. Uh, the very first thing is do is we look for a safe spot to pull over and we dump the load. Uh, we contact the fire department so they can come help um, extinguish the load. Um, but it's it's really important that we don't even get in the truck. We try to be on the lookout for this the, the weeks afterwards, but think about that with your trash. It's all bagged, so you don't necessarily know what we're putting in the back of the truck. Yeah, so once you submerge them in water, Rumpke can take it from there. There's nothing special you need to do outside of that. But just something to keep in mind if you're stopping by here in Covington grabbing some fireworks for the family this 4th of July on Tuesday. Cassie, back to you. Thanks, Kristen. And Rumkey wants to remind you, you can recycle most of your plastic wear from 4th of July parties. We have a link to see a list of accepted items. You can just head to local12.com and we'll have that whole list for you.